Hello students, this video is my third video for the chapter Amalgamation, Absorption and External Reconstruction. In my previous two videos, I have clearly explained the four different methods of calculating purchase concentration namely lump sum method, net assets method, net payment method and intrinsic value method along with examples. Some students wanted me to work out one more problem under net payment method. So today I will be working out a problem involving the calculation of purchase consideration as per net payment method. Let me proceed further now. Calculation of purchase consideration under net payment method. In my first video, I have already told you that as per the provisions of Accounting Standard 14, consideration payable to shareholders alone should be shown as purchase consideration. Amount payable to other claimants like debenture holders, creditors, etc. should not form part of purchase consideration as per the net payment method. So the most important point to be noted while calculating purchase consideration under net payment method is payment for debenture holders payment for debenture holders should not be included should not be included in the purchase price so while calculating purchase consideration the payment made for debenture holders should not be included they should be they should be assumed they should be assumed to be taken over to be taken over and discharged by the purchasing company to be taken over and discharged by the purchasing company so this is the most important point that has to be kept in mind while calculating purchase consideration as per net payment method. Keeping this in mind, let us proceed to work out a problem involving the calculation of purchase consideration under net payment method. Let me read the problem first. Following is the balance sheet of Sham Limited as on 31-3-2014. Liabilities, share capital, 8% preference shares of rupees 100 each 3,75,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each 7,50,000 general reserve 4,50,000 7% debentures 3,50,000 current liabilities 2,50,000 assets fixed assets 16,25,000 investments 3 lakh Current assets 2,50,000 and the balance sheet total is 21,75,000. Calculate purchase consideration under net payments method on the basis of the following. Ram Limited agreed to take over the business of Sham Limited. Point number one. Ram Limited agrees to discharge the 7% debentures at a premium of 10% by issuing 9% debentures of RAM Limited. Number 2. Preference shares are discharged at a premium of 10% by issuing 10% preference shares of rupees 100 each in RAM Limited. Number 3. For every 2 equity shares in Sham Limited, 3 equity shares of rupees 10 each in RAM Limited will be issued in addition to cash payment of rupees 3 per equity share in Sham Limited. So this is what is the information given to us in this problem. And based on this information, you are asked to calculate purchase consideration according to net payment method. So let us proceed with the answer now. As I told you earlier, payment made in the form of debentures that should not be taken into consideration while calculating the purchase price as per the net payment method. So, this point number one, what is point number one? Point number one states that Ram Limited 
agrees to discharge a 7% debentures at a premium of 10% by issuing 9% debentures of Ram Limited, this particular point need not be taken into account while calculating the purchase consideration because it is concerned with debentures. Okay, so we have to consider only point number 2 and 3 for the purpose of calculating purchase consideration as per the net payment method. So let us see what will be the answer now. So first give the heading calculation of purchase consideration net payment method. So first let us see what will be the amount with respect to preference shareholders. So write as for preference shareholders. So what is given with respect to preference shareholders? Have a look at the point given here. So you are given preference shares are discharged. Preference shares are discharged or discharged at a premium at a premium of 10% by issuing by issuing 10% preference shares of rupees 100 each of rupees 100 each in ROM limited. So let me read the sentence again. Preference shares are discharged at a premium of 10% by issuing 10% preference shares of rupees 100 each in ROM limited. So the face value of the preference share is 100 and it is going to be discharged at a premium of 10%. So 10% on 100 rupees is 10 rupees, isn't it? So now the value is going to be 100 plus rupees 10, that is 110. So 10% preference shares in the purchasing company at a premium of how much? At a premium of 10%. At a premium of 10%. So what is the face value? The face value as available in the problem is 100. It is actually rupees 100. With that add 10%. 10% on 100 rupees is 10. So 100 plus 10. Now the value will be 110. Okay. So what is the sentence exactly? Let me just uh, make you to have a look at the sentence once again. Preference shares are discharged at a premium of 10% by issuing 10% preference shares of rupees 100 each in RAM limited. So we have to see how many preference shares are there. Okay. As per the balance sheet, you are given uh, the preference share capital as how much? It is given as 375,000. So this is 100 rupees. The share value, uh, the value per share is 100 rupees. So what will be the number of shares? The number of shares will be 3,75,000 divided by 100, which will give you 3,750 shares. So it means 3,750 preference shares of rupees 100 each. Okay. Now let us come to the answer. So here what's going to happen? 3,750 preference shares are now going to be issued at what price? Is going to be issued at 110 rupees. So 3750 into 110, this will give us, you can calculate and see. So this will give us 4 lakh 12,500. Check whether this amount is correct. This is 3 lakh, uh, 3000, I'm sorry, 3750 into 110. Okay. 3750 into 110, this gives us 4,12,500. So this is what is the calculation with respect to preference shareholders. Now, let us do the calculation for equity shareholders. So let us see what is the information available in the problem relating to equity shares. Uh, that is point number three. So what is given in point number three? For every two equity shares in Sham Limited for Every two equity shares in Sham Limited, three equity shares of rupees 10 each in Ram Limited will be issued. Okay. For every two equity shares in Sham Limited, three equity shares of rupees 10 each in Ram Limited will be issued. So, what is the proportion? As I've written it here, for every two equity share, three shares of rupees 10 each in Ram Limited will be issued. So, what's the ratio here? The ratio we have is 2 is to 3. 2 is to 3 is the ratio. So for every 2 shares, 3 shares means. So let us see how many shares are available as per the problem. So let us have a look at the information given in the problem here. So regarding equity shares, you are given equity shares of rupees 10 each 750,000. So 750,000 is the capital amount. So how many shares will be there? 750,000 divided by 10 will be having 75,000 equity shares. 
75,000 equity shares. Now, let us go to the answer. So, what is the ratio we had? For every two equity shares in Sham Limited, three shares of rupees 10 each in Ram Limited will be issued. So, that means uh, if 2 is to 3 is the ratio, for 75,000 shares, how many will be issued? For every two shares, three shares of rupees 10 each in Ram Limited means for 75,000 shares, how many will be issued? We have to find out. So let us do the calculation now. Do cross multiplication. So it's going to be 75,000 into 3 divided by 2. So 75,000 into 3 divided by 2. So this will give us you can do the calculation and see, okay. This will give us uh, 2 lakh 25,000. 2 lakh 25,000 divided by 2. 2 lakh 25,000 divided by 2. So we will get 1 lakh 12,500. So 1 lakh 12,500. So it means 1 lakh 12,500 shares of rupees 10 each in RAM Limited will be issued now. So, 1,12,000 shares it is. 1,12,000 shares. So, now what will be the amount? The amount will be 1,12,500 into rupees 10. 1,12,500 into rupees 10. So, this will give us 11,25,000. 11, so, this will be for uh, equity shares. Okay. So, this will be for equity shareholders. For preference shareholders, the amount will be 4,12,500. And for equity shareholders, the amount will be 11,25,000. Then, one portion is going to be in the form of cash. Let us have a look at the problem again. So, what is given regarding cash? Uh, in the last sentence, you are given cash payment of. Have a look at this problem. See the sentence, cash payment of rupees 3 per equity share in Sham Limited. So, this is going to be paid in the form of cash. Okay. So, how many shares are there? Uh, 75,000 shares are there, isn't it? A cash payment is going to be 3 rupees per share. So, it is 75,000 into 3. This is going to be in the form of cash. So, 75,000 into 3 will give you how much? It will give you 2 lakh, 2 lakh. 25,000, 2,25,000, okay. So, uh, what will be the purchase consideration? 4,12,500 will be in the form of preference shares, okay. Uh, then, 11,25,000 um, is for equity shares. This is for equity shareholders. And 2,25,000 is going to be in the form of cash. So, when you add all these three amounts together, what are the three amounts? 4,12,500 plus 11,25,000 plus 2,25,000. You will be getting the total purchase consideration. The total purchase consideration, you can just find out. The total purchase consideration will be. Seventeen lakhs sixty-two thousand five hundred. You can take it again. So if it is four lakh twelve thousand five hundred plus eleven lakh twenty-five thousand plus two lakh twenty-five thousand, which gives you seventeen lakh sixty-two thousand five hundred. So this is how we'll be calculating purchase consideration according to net payment method. The most important point which you have to keep in mind here is that payment for debenture holders should not be included in the purchase price while calculating purchase consideration according to the net payment method. I hope you are clear with the answer for this particular problem. I hope you are clear with the net payment method of calculating purchase consideration. In my next video, I will be explaining the journal entries involved in this chapter. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.